Happening right now, discussions are going on right as we speak at the Mount Juliet Planning Commission meeting. The debate is about a possible new development. Owners of the Wintry Golf Course have a plan to turn the 160-acre site into a 410-lot subdivision. Discussion tonight focuses on a traffic study and the improvements that would be needed to Nonaville Road to make that development possible. We will bring you more details as we get them. A Rutherford County resident who traveled out of the country has contracted the third confirmed case of Zika in Tennessee. This announcement comes with, along with new warnings from the state health department tonight. Our uh, Emily Luxon has that new information and what we can all do to protect ourselves. Emily. Well, that's right. You know, as temperatures warm up and people are spending more time outside, odds increase of getting bit by a mosquito. Now, state officials do stress that all three Zika cases have been imported. There have been no local transmissions of the disease, but still taking steps to prevent the disease is very important. They're a common part of Tennessee summers, but this year, state health department officials say mosquitoes could also carry the Zika virus. It's up to each of us to take steps to protect ourselves our families and our neighbors from mosquito-borne diseases. Recommendations include using insect repellent and wearing appropriate clothes to prevent mosquito bites while traveling and for at least three weeks after returning home from an affected area. Also, drain and cover areas where mosquitoes can breed. Covering areas in your, around your home like bird baths and making sure that planters are drained and that trash is picked up can go a long way towards reducing the burden of mosquitoes. Pregnant women should avoid traveling to affected areas. And since the disease can be transmitted sexually, they should also avoid sex with partners who traveled to affected areas. Zika can cause birth defects in babies. Babies with microcephaly can have a variety of problems. These can include things like seizures, problems with movement or balance, problems with hearing or vision, or even intellectual disabilities. State officials say people are at the highest risk of contracting the virus one to two weeks after being bitten by an infected mosquito. For the huge majority of people, Zika virus is very mild. Uh, eight out of 10 people who are infected will not have no symptoms at all and will never know. But with no vaccine or treatment for the virus, officials say prevention is key. It's really important that we all do our part to protect people around us and do everything we can to protect, to prevent local transmission from occurring in our state. The two other confirmed cases in the state were in East Tennessee and in Shelby County. State officials say both of those individuals are doing fine. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Emily, thanks. Today, the Senate approved just more than $1 billion in emergency funding to combat the Zika virus. President Obama is asking for almost $2 million just for research on the virus. And just like